Hey guys, welcome back to part four. Let's see, how much money do I got? Yeah, I'm just gonna find it. Uh, let's see, where were I? Oh, I don't have enough. For, oh, one cat, plus I'm trying to go to That could be really good. Top capacity. Using secret cells. I would like to have that one. the bullhead court. Folks defended themselves there with shields, not words. That's a scrapyard where folks got to smash things and call it community service. I'll try my hand at my hammer. The city's unwanted things all met their end in the yard. Folks have fouled up will do their time here, smashing things to bits. Right. The quicker they work, the sooner they could go. Folks learn to plant their feet and put their backs into it. Others will plot a course to navigate that sea of junk. Come on. A good day smashing to feed a family for a week. Twenty-seven seconds or less. Yeah. I plotted that a little poorly. Ever wanna just smash things for a while? You know where to go. <laughs> There's Pith Orchard, built in honor of the bull, and folks like Zulf, who pray to him. Right, I forgot. The Ur and the Scam are all religious. No use praying to the gods these days. No time for it either. Kid says a little prayer anyway. Couldn't hurt, right? Pith Orchard. Place is a dead end in more ways than one. Folks used to make pilgrimage here to pay their respects to Pith, the bull. Well, the gods are long gone now, and the origin core is long gone too. Seems Pith ain't much of a watchdog. The gods don't care about trinkets, but the kid ain't no god. Fair. Pith stood for something once. Something real. In time, though, the bull stopped being a symbol and started being decoration. Pith makes a decent scarecrow, at least. Then Pith lights up like a rodeo. Must have been guarding that shrine. Oh, what's that down there? Ah, upgrade for my musk. Awesome. Exactly what I want to see. Okay, grab us a little help. So what'll it be? Invoke the gods, or tell them off? God of calm, commotion, and order. Foshal cookers. Strike the wakeful bull, patient yet temperamental, adorns the city's walls with his likeness. Piv. Kid decides to press his button. Well, if the gods are alive, they must be plenty sore. Oh. 
that was a much tighter line. Kid ain't never seen one bag that quick. Maybe old Piff was scared. Shrine of our own, though I got some alternatives in mind. <laughs> Zolf doesn't touch the thing. Says the god of commotion is no children's toy. The Ura feared the gods. We turned them into toys, put their faces on our walls. Hmm. All depends on perspective, I guess. Just filled with a sharp, hard packed alloy, or causes greater knockback. No, I'll go with the marshals learn to pack those shells full of fire. Oh, I, I finished a couple of these guys, didn't I? I never went to go collect. Yeah. The gravers, they are majestic. They seemed unstoppable. The marshals kept the city's peace. They can rest easy now. Nasty gourds without wasting ammo. Hmm. That server is a good place to start. Not a good spot where you can kind of push them all together. Most marshals didn't get far on the first few tries. Shit. 
to a bunch of those gourds in a single shot. Funny thing about muskets is they work best up close. It took a king seventeen, not a peachy trigger finger. Some course. Fifteen or fewer. I actually didn't do too bad. Oh, I'm gonna go and upgrade my musket again. So yeah, I can do three upgrades on all of them. Can't remember when he unlocked Marshals the fourth did and fifth. more than just stand around shooting, of course. Oh, I can't get it. Reduce penalty of long range damage, or 33% of us. Military grade stock designed to reduce the downtime between blasts. Custom stock that enhances the musket's performance across its effective range. Hmm. Alright. That's Zolwood Grove. A nice, quiet place to show a musket a good time. <laughs> Longston River. It was last seen halfway down the riverbank in the shadow of Prosper Block. That's the Langston River. Used to cut all the way to the wild. Think it was bad then. <clears throat> well, let's see. The Langston River flowed free and wild till the calamity drank it all up. Hmm. Maybe all that water just grew wings and flew off. We'd only be so lucky. I think I've been like pushing it like the little corners. Gives you some extra stuff. Riverbank swarming with wind bags. Uh, well. They're so bent on finding the core, they hardly notice the kid. Lucky for him, a certain famous ferry barge is still afloat. Nelly. She sent some squirts crying home as she leaves port. Maybe Nelly knows the way to the core. Maybe she can slip right past all the clamor on the coast. Or maybe not. A security skiff pulls up portside. Nelly's just another windbag with those guns. Just then, the windbags notice who she's sailing with. They're pretty steamed about what happened at Cinderbrick. Down by them. They try to cut her off. They try to slow her down. They try to knock her out. Nelly tries harder. Okay. Try as she might, though. She hits a snag. Kids gotta help her get untangled. Favors for favors. She picked a good spot for a break. The core is right there. Kid ain't got time to think it over. 
over just yet. Let's get out of here. He finds what the Nelly are rearing to go. Turns out she's got a special surprise for when the waters get rough. She's gonna need a little help with all that papers. Crafty things think they're king of the roost now. The rest of us only wish we could fly down like these. couple of times. Now, yeah. listen close. You should remember this next part. Hmm. Why go to Prosper Bluff? Used to take an enterprising man or plain old fool to venture out that far. The city was the most beautiful place in the world. We all knew that. But on the other hand, some folks just yearn to see the things they're told they can't. Great. And that's why you go to Prosper Bluff, ain't it? There, the kid hears something he ain't heard in a long while. How's it going? Yeah, I got a friend me like the other one, actually. years old, there's still a good chance I listen to it every fucking day.
to fly. Yeah. Out of the sky, get some money out of them. Oops. Uh, hold on. Was there another path up there? It looked like. Yeah. Where do you go, buddy? Well, no point explaining what happens next, right? Suffice it to say, kid ain't coming home empty-handed. And besides, it's like the song goes. Up to the sky. Singer. They'll be here before too long. <laughs> the singer agreed to return to the bastion. We darn near celebrated when the kid got back, didn't we? Zolf never thought he'd see a fellow her again. We become fast friends. Calamity has that effect on people. <laughs> it probably would. But there was more to be done. There was one last core to find. Kid's surprised when I tell him there's only one core left. I shouldn't have believed it either. Huh. Hey, Saya. Most of the Ura never got a taste of Ceylandia's fine goods. Unless they were born and raised in the city like Zia here. Sure, the world's all gone to pieces farther than the eye can see. But leave it to this gal to point out the amazing view. Girl tried to run away from home one time, but the marshals stopped that, didn't they? <laughs> like that. So many secrets in there, and she can't even read it. Her father's own journal. If only I'd known half the secrets of the calamity were tucked away in that book, I'd have worked to translate it right away. A scientific journal written in Zolf's native tongue. He learned so much from it. Too much. That's never good. Hmm. Here are the gods. Foes shall gain resilience to physical harm. Foes shall strike with greater ferocity. To master the musket. You gotta get rid of the recoil. There we go. Let's pick that up. Well, thank you guys for watching this part of my Bastion playthrough. If you liked what you saw, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.